What's up, YA? Uh, This is Katie, and I just wanted to um, touch base with you guys to answer one of the questions that some of you had um, a little bit ago during YA. And one of those questions was, how do we make reading the Bible not feel like something to check off a to-do list? And so um, for me, this has been something that I have been personally working to try to do for the past like number of years. And I can understand your feeling. Um, Sometimes we feel like we get caught up in this. I'm trying to grow my walk with Jesus and I wanna check, check, check all the boxes. And we really, really, really don't want it to feel like that. I know sometimes we can feel convicted in our heart that that is something that we don't wanna feel. And so I have a few tips for you um, and I think that they can really help And the first one is to reframe your mindset when it comes to reading God's word. Sometimes we think of it, oh, like I need to go in and I didn't read it. And oh my gosh, God is so mad at me. And yes, God wants us to spend time with us, but we also want to reframe our mindset. So the way I think about something affects the posture of my heart when I do it. So I want you to think about that. Um, If my goal is to read God's word and to spend more time with him, really, if I'm thinking of it as quality time, and not something just to do, to cross off my list, it changes the way my mind and heart think about it when I go to complete that that thing or that task. Um, If I reframe it as quality time in my brain, because that's really what it is for my heart, um, my mind goes into it with a completely other thing. It doesn't go, oh, five minutes are up, I'm done. It really says, how long can I spend in God's presence? How long can I read his word? Um, What more does he have to say to me? And so we want to reframe our mindset when it comes to that. Um, Another thing that we can really do is to ask the Lord for help, okay? God gives wisdom in his word, and he gives it generously according to what he says in his word. And if we need help, he is going to help us. If we come to him with this genuine desire in our heart, hey, God, I want to spend more time with you. Hey, I really want to know how to read your word. Can you help? Can you speak to me? Can you help me hear you? He will stand with his word and he will do that for you. Um, Think of it this way. The more you do something, the more you're used to it. The more you spend time with God's word and hear his voice, the more you're used to it, the more that you know. And so we want to think of it like friends, just like we said before. It doesn't feel like a chore to me to spend time with my best friends. In fact, I cherish that time. If I think of spending time with God like I would with one of my best friends, then I'm going to cherish that time. It's not gonna be something that I have to do. It's gonna be something that I get to do. And we really wanna think about it that way. If you're having a hard time with that, I totally understand. But the more consistent you are, God is so faithful and he's gonna help you get there. Um, Another thing I would try to do if you're struggling to start, is to like look for a devotional or something like that. Something small that you can do that's consistent, that's every day, that's multiple times a week. I know for me personally, about 10 years ago, I found something called She Reads Truth. There's also He Reads Truth, right? And it's just a group of women who read these uh, God's word every single day and have a platform to talk about it. That little thing of something every day where it wasn't just me by myself was so encouraging to me. And it challenged me, hey, I want to be in God's word. I want to be reading his voice. Like, I want to get to know him because that is the posture of my heart. And so finding something small like that, if you feel like it's, that's intimidating, open up the, the Bible app. There's the verse of the day. Every single day, even those small little nuggets, God is consistent, he's faithful, his word does not return void. And so you will grow to love being in God's word and wanna do it more and more and more. The other thing is this, I don't wanna think of it as a to-do list, I wanna think of it as building a healthy habit. Okay, how many of us love working out? How many of us, well, love to hate working out? Okay, how many of us love eating healthy all the time? A lot of people don't, it's a lot of headaches, right? but it's something that we know is good for us and know is healthy for us. And so I wanna think about it that way. Sometimes I might be like, oh, I'm so busy. I did all these things, but I know that if I wanna feel healthy in my mind and heart, 
I want to spend time in God's word. If that's five minutes, if that's 10 minutes, if it's sometimes even longer than that, 20 minutes, a half hour, hour, I know that I'm building a healthy habit for my heart and soul. And the thing is, I realize I miss it and feel the negative effects when I don't do it. Just like if you miss workouts for a week or if you kind of go off the path with some snacks, right? Okay, you feel the effect. And so with us, we want that healthy growth and healthy consistency. So we want to try to be consistent in God's word. And the last thing I would encourage you to do is to find a friend. Accountability is key sometimes. If you're struggling by yourself and feel like an island, find somebody who you can talk to about what you're reading about God's word because I guarantee you other people will want to know what you're learning and also can help you um, in this journey in your walk with the Lord. And so we love you. We hope that we can help you and we are here for you.